Hello and welcome back to the study of success. Today what we're going to talk about is how businesses stay successful, how they become successful and how they maintain that success. It's not as easy as it looks. One would think you just keep doing what you're doing, but it takes more than that. You have to keep doing what you're doing while adapting to what's new. I'm going to give you five financial reports that every small business should monitor. But before I get started, here is a message from our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Brain Fellow Accounting Solutions, where we offer premium bookkeeping, payroll, and tax preparation services at affordable rates. Let's see how we can service you. Send us an email with your contact information to get a free consultation. Here are the five financial reports that every small business should monitor on a regular basis. Number one, you already know what it is. Your P&L, your revenue and your expenses, your profit and loss statements. Most small business owners know to go right to that point because it shows how much money you're making. So everyone intuitively knows to go to that statement first. But being able to read that statement is important. Understanding what it means to classify something as an income and something as an expense. To know if it's an accrual basis of recording your, bi your business transaction or a cash basis. That's gonna make all the difference in the world when interpreting the financial data. And that goes into the accounting and you know, if you're not an expert in that, just know that a cash basis it's what most people use. That's what you file your taxes on. Accrual basis means that you can have income in your prof income in your uh, P and L, but no cash in your accounts because people owe you money that you've earned, but they haven't actually given it to you. So knowing those little differences will make the difference in the world. But we'll go into that in a little bit. The second financial report that you should know is the balance sheet. But balance sheet is where your assets and your liabilities are held, are recorded. It's where your net worth or your equity is recorded. When you put the balance sheet with the profit and loss statement, you get a better idea of what's going on. Because some of those profits or some of those income um, transactions on your profit and loss sheet may actually be receivables on your balance sheet. And if that happens, that means people owe you money, but they haven't paid you. It also gives you an idea of what type of leverage you have, how, what type of working capital you have. It tells you what type of reserves you have. It gives you ratios on whether or not you can pay your bills, how quickly, you're turn, how quickly you turn over your inventory. Things like that is important to be able to understand what's going on in your business financially. But I don't want to get stuck there. Let's go to number three, your cash flow statement. This tells you how your cash is coming in, whether it's from general operating, financing, or investments. This tells me, see, this nets out those receivables and those loans and things that may inflate your cash, your cash flow. It may give you a, other things may give you a false uh, idea of what's going on, but these three statements together, now they're giving you a full picture of how your business is actually running and how it's doing financially. What's the financial position of your business? Your budget to actual is your fourth, fourth report that I want you to know about. A lot of small businesses don't have this report because they don't make budgets. But in order to grow, in order to scale, in order to manage the structure of your business in a way that has you looking at what you plan to do and what you are actually doing, you have to have a budget. So that budget is a guide or a blueprint to where you want to be financially at the end of your accounting period, which is usually a year. 
It'd be a fiscal year or calendar year. Your budget to actual is gonna give you an idea of how well you forecast or predicted, how you projected the activity, financial activity of your business. By monitoring that on a regular basis, basis, at least quarterly, you can make the necessary adjustments or adaptations to your plan in order to hit the targets that you set forth in your budget. The fifth report that I like to look at is the actuals by month. Each month, you look at the trends over a couple years, if you have been in business that long, to understand when the expenses are higher or lower, when the income is higher or lower, the money that falls to the bottom each month, the profit or lack thereof, to be able to see that in real time. Each month, you compare with the prior year's month and a year before that, and you look at it so that you can understand the ups and downs of your business and plan accordingly. So those are the five reports that every small business owner should monitor on a regular basis. So I hope this lesson has been helpful to you. And if it has, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be notified each week as I upload new content on a regular basis of business related material. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the good life.